Fox 5's Jeff McAdam joins us live with the very latest. Jeff. Hi, Maria. That's right. Yeah, parents of high schoolers, middle schoolers, this does not apply to you. Your students are still at home. They're learning from home if they're going to schools here in the San Diego Unified School District. It's the parents of these elementary age kids that need to listen up right now. About 1,200 of them, or roughly 10% of, uh, of the school district, uh, this applies to. The vice president of the district says if you're sitting at home and wondering if your son or daughter is part of that 10%, the answer is no. Those parents already have been told they will be part of this first wave. So if you don't know already, then this does not apply to you. These students will go back by the end of September and part of their learning will be in classes with virtual learning from home, rounding out the other part. If this all goes well, the district could move on to more students or phase two of their rollout in October. Here's the kids that will be going back in phase one. The students that we're identifying are elementary school students who we are concerned, you know, are having the most difficult time engaging in online learning. So it's uh, homeless students, it's students with certain special needs who need in-person services or in-person assessments. Uh, and it's also students who, you know, the teacher and the uh, principal might identify as having been a little bit behind on their last report card. And so we want to make sure that we can bring those students in and, and work with them uh, online. So I'm, I'm sorry, in person. Yeah, and the county, the health departments here with the county said just yesterday that it looks that by next Tuesday, uh, schools, districts, if they want to, should be able to reopen for all students if that's something they want to do. San Diego Unified said, hey, it's just too dangerous for us. We're holding a higher standard. We're going to open in waves and we're going to do it slowly over the next few months. From the district headquarters, Jeff McAdam, Fox 5 News. Thank you.